guys, what's up? Randall here with Crypto Love. Welcome to another episode. This is an exciting one. All right, we have a lot going on today, but first I just want to start out by giving a quick shout out to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, guys. It means the world to me that you guys check out these videos when I put them out. And also, if you guys could just mash on that like button, if we could get 50 likes on this video, that would be the tits. All right, now let's move on. In case you guys haven't checked the markets today, in case you haven't looked at Blockfolio or you haven't seen anything else going on today, Bitcoin is over 5,000. <sighs> right? It's highest it's ever been. Okay? Surprise? Probably not. We got Bitcoin Gold coming out. We got Bitcoin 2x coming out. That's free Bitcoin. People want free Bitcoin. So, of course, the price is going to go up. Where is it going to go? I don't know. I think over 7,000. That's my bold answer, but it could go anywhere. I mean, exuberance makes all the difference. That's what some smart people say. So taking a look at Bitcoin, I mean, if you take a look at this chart, these are the one day candles on Bittrex. Look at the size of this candle here. That thing is massive. We haven't seen a candle that big since the big sell off in price when Bitcoin went from almost 4,000 to almost 3,000 in a day. And then boom, the next day saw a giant buy and look at the size of that. People are buying, buying Bitcoin. People trust Bitcoin. People want Bitcoin and they're buying it and the price is going up and it's going to keep on going up. Where does it end? Nobody knows, right? But someone says he's done talking about Bitcoin. That would be Mr. Jamie Dimon, however you pronounce his name. All right. The JP Morgan CEO. He says he won't talk about Bitcoin anymore. He called it a fraud a month ago. Everyone keeps asking him about it. And specifically, he says it's worse than tulip bulbs. It is another bubble and it won't end well. Someone is going to get killed. That's why I put the clickbaity picture on there in title because someone probably is going to get killed. I mean, when you think about bubbles, they suck because the people who get in on the end, they lose a lot. Hopefully we won't lose that much because we're in right now but some people are going to get screwed and that kind of sucks. Now, just taking a look, here are the five biggest bubbles in the market today. Real estate. All right. Real estate prices have gone up like wildfire since 2010. So you remember there was the housing bubble in the U.S. in 2008, it may have affected other parts of the world, but it's happening again. Real estate prices through the roof. Next one, cryptocurrency. Shit, that made the list. Uh Oh, we might be in trouble. If you take a look at this, See, they say that cryptocurrencies are a massive bubble because when people are making money all out of proportion with their intelligence or work ethic, that's one of the hallmarks of a bubble. So it could be a bubble. I don't know. When's it going to burst? Nobody knows. What's going to happen? Nobody knows. See, here's what I think. I could definitely, I definitely foresee cryptocurrencies being a bubble. Blockchain technology, definitely not. But the value in cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and other things like that is a bubble. When's it going to burst? I don't know, probably not for another couple of years, because right now it's just kind of like people are just talking about it. You know, not many people are involved in it. Once your grandmother starts talking to you about Bitcoin, once your barber is saying how she just bought Bitcoin and made, you know, hundreds of dollars. Once that starts happening, that's when you sell. That's when you fucking run for the hills. You cash in into something that holds value. I don't even know what that is anymore, but that's when the bubble's about to burst. All right, some more ones. We have stocks. We have credit bubble. We have indexing. And get ready. Everything's a bubble. Everything. Okay? Now, I mean, I don't think that Jamie Dimon is wrong there. This is going to end. It's not going to end well. No bubbles ever do end well. But I just remember, like, things that cause people to kill. Like, you remember Reebok pumps? Those shoes where you could pump them up and they were awesome? People killed for that shit. You remember starter jackets? All right? Just like a jacket, but it was a cool name brand. You could have your favorite sports team. People killed for that shit. People will probably kill for this stuff. It sucks, but it happens. So hide your cryptos very well. Next. Why is hodling, hobbling Bitcoin's prospect of a common currency? Let's read on. Because when you take a look at it, Bitcoin was meant to fulfill the three functions of money. All right. A store of value, a medium of exchange and a unit of account. So it does all of those three things. But when it's hodled, 
that medium of exchange is lessened or there's less to exchange. So because of that, they say that maybe that's going to impact the price. However, with scarcity, people will pay higher prices for it. Do I think that because of scarcity alone is going to be inherently valuable? No, because it needs to work on some type of architecture. All right, so what do I think of this? Does this change my theory? No, I hodl the shit out of Bitcoin. That's because it's fucking awesome. That's because it is going to go up. Am I scared of the bubble? Fuck no, I want it to go up because I want to make all that money. Now, if I lose everything, I could. I'm not a financial advisor. I make unwise investments because I don't have a family that I need to pay for. I don't have a house that I own. I don't have like stuff that I need to worry about. But I want it to go up. Who knows? We'll see what happens. It could keep going. It might not. Anyways, guys, I want to know, what do you think? Do you think Bitcoin is going to lead to some deaths? Do you think it's going to be a bubble? When do you think that bubble is going to pop? If it's ever going to pop. Also, if you like this episode, make sure to click that subscribe button. Once we get to a thousand subscribers, we're going to have a late night live stream. I'm going to drink some alcohol on YouTube while answering your questions, looking at cryptocurrencies, doing all types of other fun stuff. So thanks for watching. Good to see you guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.